Alrighty, today we'll learn to jailbreak iOS 14.3 and the best part using a Windows PC. This will be a comprehensive guide on how you, yes, you can jailbreak and make your device look like this, this or even this. Drop a like if you're excited, hit subscribe for more and let's go ahead and start off. So the very first thing you have to do is open any browser of your choice. In my case, it's Firefox. And once you do that, just head over to the links down in the description below. Open them all in tabs and then just go to this first link which is rufus.ie. Scroll down and you'll see a big download button which for some reason, I don't know, it doesn't work. So you have to click on Rufus 3.13 and the download for Rufus software will start. So this is the required file in an order to jailbreak. We need to do all sorts of stuff and I'll guide you through it. So. The next thing, just open the other link which will take you to a Mediafire link and I'm not going to show you because I know you know how to download something from Mediafire or whatever. So you'll see this file which is just a tech, check range 0.12.2 windows.rar. This file, again, as I already told you, you have to download it from that media file link or that Google Drive link. It will be down in the description below. Just click on that file and then just click and then hit open archive click on yes and it will simply extract that rar file to this file just click on cancel and you can see after extracting this rar file you see this just the tech by the way a huge shout out to just a tech for making this iso file so a link his channel down in the description below in case you want to check it out so once you extract that rar file you see this just a tech checkpoint 0.12.2 windows file which is a disk image if you can see it so all you have to do now is double tap to open rufus software and just go ahead and bring any kind of usb you have so that's not all for this video like there are many things that you need to do to jailbreak you can get a lot of stuff you can install tweaks you can do all sorts of good stuff and i'll link my special video with over a hundred best cdr tweaks yes because after jailbreaking all you have to do is get some cdr tweaks and if you see this video there is a higher chance that you're interested in jailbreaking and want to get some awesome jailbreak tweaks so i'll link my video with over 100 best cdr tweaks on the end of this video there, that's the only way to watch that video so make sure to watch this video till the end so now you got this just go ahead and plug your pen drive in your pc i already did that Select your pen drive over here and then all you have to do is just click on this big select button. I'll explain what we are doing. Now just go to the like go to the location where you have downloaded that just the tech RAR file and where you have extracted that file. Now you can see this is a disk image file. Just click on open and hit on start. Hit on OK. Again hit on OK and this will basically delete all your data in your pen drive so make a backup and by the time it's doing this i want to explain what we just did over here because i know you did that you just click on the select button and selected that iso file here but i want to tell you what we are doing so in future when like you unjailbreak your iphone and then you need to re-jailbreak it you know what we need to do all we did we downloaded a Windows ISO file or basically a RAR file and then we extracted it. Now we got this disk image file out of that. We opened Rufus software, plugged our pen drive in, selected our pen drive, clicked on the select button and selected that ISO file here in Rufus software. So now all Rufus is doing over here is it's turning that ISO file in our pen drive so that we can boot in our pen drive to jailbreak. Now, as you can see, it says the status is ready. That means we successfully made that ISO file and then just click on the Windows icon and then completely shut down your PC. Don't care about anything. Nothing's gonna happen to your Windows PC. Nothing's gonna happen to your iOS device. And by the time my PC is shutting down, let me quickly show you. This here is an iPhone 7 running on iOS 14.3. If we go to general about, you can see iPhone 7 on iOS 14.3. Now this is important, so make sure you watch this part really carefully. Turn on your PC while rapidly pressing a key to enter in one-time boot menu. 
Yes, turn on your PC and spam the key to enter in one time boot menu. And I know what you're thinking. How on earth you know which is the key to enter in one time boot menu for your laptop or desktop or whatever you're using. So I'll link a full article down in the description below with keys to enter in one time boot menu for all laptops. Use those arrow keys to go up and down. It might look a bit nerdy or a bit difficult when you're watching this video, but when you'll do it on your own, you'll do it. So just use those arrow keys to go above, select your pen drive and hit on enter. This one time boot menu will be different for everyone. So you have to figure it out on your own. Just when you click on enter, you'll see this just a tick ISO file and all you have to do now is wait. Now you can see all the stuff going on your PC. Again, nothing is going to happen to your PC. I'll show you at the end of this video that Windows is still working. Now you're here in check range, but that's not all. You have to do some more things. Just go ahead and grab your phone, connect your phone to your PC using a high quality lightning cable. And at this stage, your phone might prompt you to trust your computer so that it can transfer information. For me, it's not doing that for some weird reason, but for you, you have to click on that trust button. Otherwise you won't be able to jailbreak. And now at this stage, just go to options and then you'll see here, allow untested iOS, iPadOS, tvOS versions. You have to click on enter so that it can select that option. And you'll see this option where it says skip A11 BPR check. Now this is really important and I want you to just listen to this part so that you can jailbreak on your own. Now you have to enable this option where it says skip A11 BPR check if you have iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone 10. Do not click on this option if you don't have iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone 10. This will disable all SEP related options on your iPhone. We'll go back as you know, I have an iPhone 7, so I won't enable that option and then click on start. Hit on enter and then this will basically put your device in recovery mode in order to prevent file system corruption. Just click on start and do what CheckRain tells you to. It's telling me to hold the side button as well as the power down button for a couple of seconds and all that stuff is mentioned over here. Now you can see it's checking if the device is ready and now it will jailbreak your device on its own. You don't need to do anything and it will boot your device. Now you can see there is no Cydia as well as no check rain on our iOS device. What happened? Now you can see this check rain icon suddenly appeared. We'll click on Cydia, we'll click on reinstall Cydia or maybe install Cydia depending upon if you have already jailbroken or not. I jailbroke this iPhone on iOS 14.2. That's why it was saying for me to reinstall Cydia and for you it will definitely say to install Cydia if you are jailbreaking for the first time. And you can see iPhone 9.3 which is iPhone 7 on iOS 14.3 and Cydia is working perfectly fine. Now this is not that video where you face something like human verification and it's not like that. I really want you to try. It's fun. Power off your PC and then if you turn it back on, it will boot into Windows. Now you can see everything's working fine. After jailbreaking, you need to get some tweaks. And here is my video with a hundred best Cydia tweaks. So I want you to watch this video right now. Click, 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 click. Peace out.